So it's your last day of work today? Well, it's not officially my last day. I'm clearing leave from tomorrow. Mm, this is good coffee. Morning, Ibu. Morning. Ibu doesn't know yet. You still haven't told her you quit your job. Because I haven't found the right time. I mean, now she's still so upset about Hilmi. I'll tell her when she gets over it. So that's the excuse you're going with? Do you really want me to make her feel worse? There's never going to be a good time. You should just get it over with. Okay, she ran out now, okay? Fine. If you want to leave to work, I'm leaving now. So early? It's okay, I'll head in myself later. You're going to work? Of course. Dear Zara, thanks for being a good friend and a great boss. You think it's okay? I wanted to be like not super friendly yet kind of respectful. It's fine. Didn't know you were close to Zara. Yeah, we really hit it off. Going to work's gonna be so boring now. There'll be no one to talk to except for Julius. But he's not on my team. Hmm. There's always Sherman. Mm, not quite the same. I'm gonna miss Zara. My dad and Zara used to be close at one point. Really? Caitlin, this is coming from a friend, okay? Zara can be really nice and sweet, but she's kind of a flake. Just be careful around her. Okay, thanks for the warning. Well done. What do you think? Nice. Mm. Is it? <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> okay, okay, Zarin. Take care. Uh, call me when you have time, okay? <laughs> okay, bye, bye. <laughs> Your abang loves Vietnam so much, he doesn't want to come home. <laughs> Coffee? No, thanks. How can she be in such a good mood? Has she forgotten about Jaehomi? Like you said, she's in a good mood. Just let her be. But what if she's forgotten everything that he did to her? And what do we tell her when she wants to see Jay Homie again? Ka, I think we need to have a serious talk with Ibu. What about? About Jay Homie, of course. I don't think it's a good idea. I couldn't agree more. Morning, Rose. Jay, are you walking more steadily now? I'm getting better already. <laughs> Ibu, we need to talk to you about Jay Homie. Sarah, it's no problem. Let's talk about Hilmi. How do you feel about Jay Homi? I mean, he lied to you and he didn't tell you he was married. Do you remember any of that? Of course, I remember everything. He's a snake. He made a fool of me. Okay, yeah. Cool. Life is better without him. Maybe I'll look for a new man now. Ibu? You're joking, right? Of course, lah. Hey, Yotsi. How's it going? Fine. Oh, I bumped into Zara recently. She's feeling a lot better now. So? So the two of you are okay, right? Or am I missing something? You know she quit Hela. What? Two weeks ago. Why did she quit? I thought she was happy there. Why don't you ask her? Wait, you'll see. Hey, you're supposed to be on compassionate leave. Mm. I needed to get some things from my office. How are you? Are you feeling okay? Mm. I'm mostly just tired. We had so many visitors the past few days and they're all coming back to the house for tonight's study. I didn't even have the chance to feel sad. Hey, it'll be over in a couple of days. Then you can take all the time you need. Mm. Thanks. I better go. I'll see you at the Tahlil tonight. I'll bring Shira. Please, don't force her. We'll be there. She'll probably knock off around 6.30. Shira went to work. Are you serious? Trust her to be so blasé about losing her father. You know her, right? She never lets her feelings show. I don't think she feels anything. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Nina. 
There's a late night poetry slam tonight, but Nathan's got an early start tomorrow morning. A late night what? A late night poetry slam. Sounds cool, right? You have any plans? Uh, nothing so far, but... Awesome. Um... I'll see you later then. That was nice. Who was that? Caitlin. What makes her think I'm even interested in poetry? She just assumes I want to spend the evening with her. She didn't even wait for a yes or a no. Who does that? Did something happen between you two? No. She broke my train of thought. There's nothing. Uh, yeah. Any updates for me? Sure, are you going to the Tahlil tonight? Of course not. Anyway, it's not like my family wants me to show up. You should go out of respect for your father. Please say a prayer for me when you're there. What's wrong with you? Sarif, let her deal with it in her own way. No, that's not good enough. I already pretended to be sad at the funeral. I think that's more than enough. Ashira, it's fine if you don't want to go. See? Rose understands. Explain something to me. Are you really not sad at all by your father's death? Not even that small part of you? Or are you that cold and uncaring? Are those questions for Amina's benefit? Don't give me that. Funny how she can find the time and energy to take pot shots at me when she should be in mourning. Or is she also putting on an act? Sorry, everyone grieves in their own way. You know how Shira is. I guess I should go and make it right with her. Try smiling. It might help. Shira, I'm sorry I lost my cool. I hope you'll go for the tahlil. Did Amina really say those things about me? I wish you guys would try. Just one of you. Just try to be nice to each other. We're better off this way. You really believe that? Amina's happy without me in her life, and so am I. It also makes your life easier. You know, the two of you got me thinking about my half-brother. If he were to walk by right now, I wouldn't even know it's him. Isn't that sad? So, why don't you give him a call? Maybe I will. See, I'm not expecting miracles, but I hope one day he and I can be friends. We can hang out, talk, have a few laughs. I may have tried that once with Amina. It didn't work out. Look, don't go to the Tahlil for her. Go for your father and the rest of your family. This is amazing. Amina's not enough. Now you want me to be there for my family. Shira, please. Yeah, I suppose I could go and pretend everything's okay, just like I did when I was growing up in that house. They can spend the whole night telling me I'm a mental case. It'll be like old times. Sorry, Zari. Not going to happen. everything I've been working on that's not in the soft copies I send you. These are all done and these are still pending. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, so feel free to call me if anything here like doesn't make any sense. I am going to miss you, Zara. You know, having you around make me look better in front of the bosses. Um, so, I've already done all the handovers. Is there anything else that you need me to do before I go? There's still a couple of hours left. So, this is it. It's your last day here. I'm gonna round up the team and I'm gonna go for a farewell lunch, okay? No, it's okay. It's really way past lunch. Oh, I didn't realize you were so late. Maybe a coffee. Oh, no, wait. I have a meeting at the Lux later. Uh, don't worry about it. I didn't mean to take it out on you, Zarif. Going back to that house brings back too many ugly memories. No, I was too pushy. I'm sorry. I hated being a kid. 
All I remember is my parents telling me, is something wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Do you have a screw loose? Are you stupid or what? How's that for a happy childhood? Shira, you don't have to. My father, the famous surgeon who could save all his patients except for the one in his own home. Maybe looking at me every day reminded him that he wasn't so great after all. I know he resented me for that. Hey, there's nothing wrong with you. Nothing at all. I know that now. But when I was growing up in that house, some days they wouldn't need to say anything. The look they gave me said it all. Freak. Now you have the internet. All the information you need on mental issues are at your fingertips. When I found out Khalid needed therapy, I didn't have to think twice. I know. You acted so quickly. It's been really good for him. I learned a few things about myself at the same time. Anyway, that's the story of my life. So the next time if I'm in a cranky mood... Shira, you've come a really long way. It would be so easy to just keep blaming your parents. Instead, you got help for Khalid. You made sure you didn't make the same mistakes they made with you. Thanks for sharing. Hi, Kak. Hey, have you had your lunch? Yeah, I needed to get out of the office. I feel like a square peg there already. Have you started looking for a new job? Yeah, I mean, some part-time gigs. What sort of gigs? This and that. Anything related to what you like to do? Sarah, you spend so much time on work that you're not that interested in. Like this restaurant. You like what you do in Hila, right? Don't you want to build on your experience? There are lots of social media agencies out there. Just send them your resume. Hey, Sarah. What happened? I heard you quit Hila. It's time for a change. Really? You're doing really well. Well, they're gonna regret letting you go. Well, it's too late for that now. I wish you would have told me. I could have done something for you. Anyway, I have to go. Okay, but right. good luck, okay? Hey, where are you? Thank you. Kat, I better get back to work. See you later. Sherry, you're still here. My meeting was cancelled. I've decided I'm going for the Talib tonight. I'll bring Khalid along. Like it or not, they're my family. And Khalid's as well. You were right. I should show my respect. Sherry, you're doing the right thing. That went well. And I suggest you keep Amina away from her tonight. Hey, Amina has been really patient with Shira. And I've seen how thirsty she can get when they're together. Okay, they bring out the worst in each other. How about that? I'm not going to push Amina so hard when things are doing so well. Anyway, Shira's going to the Tahlil. That's a good start, right? I'll see you soon. Yoksi, how can you let Sarah go? Can you take back her resignation, please? She quit on her own accord, do this. Do you know what she's been going through? Okay, okay, I won't go through a grocery list of things, but you know, lately she's had lots of personal problems. Louis, you say that yourself, personal problems. Once you step in my office, you focus on work. I am not a counselor. Come on, Sarah's good at what she does. Well, can you convince her to stay? I'm not convincing her to do anything. She's a grown woman. Can you leave me alone? <laughs> You don't care about anyone, do you? What is it with you and James? You're becoming more and more like that. We are done talking. <laughs> hey, I'm going to the Tahlil so I can give you a lift home. 
Do you want to load your stuff in my car? It's okay. I don't have much. Um, I can manage. Actually, I can leave right now. Have you said goodbye to everyone? They're in a meeting. Do you know what this looks like? It's like you're too embarrassed to face the team because you didn't do a single thing right the whole time you were here. Shira, please. Suit yourself. Is it? I didn't know she quit her job. So what do you think if I offered Zara a job at Everyday Soy? Good idea if that's what Zara wants. But uh, you better ask Adina first. Adina is also part of Everyday Soy. Sometimes uh, it's not easy for mothers and daughters uh, to work together. I'll do it. Hello, Che. It's Louis. I'm going to offer Zara a job at Everyday Soy. What for? She can't do two jobs. Two jobs? Oh, OK. She doesn't have two jobs. I, yes, yes, yes. Of course, she has two jobs. I, I mean one job. A Hela job. Of course, she has it. It's not like she quit or anything. She quit? Zara, can I talk to you? I was just about to leave. Come on, it'll be really quick. Saying goodbye. Thanks, Caitlin. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Speech. 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 Okay. Speech. okay. Um. I. I just. I really don't want to say this is a surprise. It was really great working with you guys, and I'm gonna miss all of you. Even you, Sherman. Well. You are going to miss the hell out of me. <laughs> Come here. Thanks. Thanks. I'll get you a drink, Zara. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Zara, can I uh, talk to you? Sure. I um, just wanted to wish you good luck. I hope you find a job that is really meaningful and brings out the best in you. Thanks, Yoke. Come eat. Eclairs are great. Oh, you're back. Um, how's Talia? Oh, there were no dramas, thankfully. No dirty looks from anyone? They were all fussing over Khalid. Oh, yeah. The first grandchild in your family. Maybe they'll start being nice to me from now on. I bet he enjoyed the attention. It's like they've never seen an eight-year-old boy before. Rose. I know. He's going to be up all night. Can you settle him down for me? Then I'll... Make sure he brushes his teeth? Well, good luck with that. Like a well-oiled machine. Can you read what's on my mind? Um, let's see. Amina. <laughs> so predictable. I was just thinking it would be nice to be like that with Amina. So in sync like you guys. So, did Amina scold you for bringing me to the Tahle? No. Come on, Zari. She didn't say anything about me? No. Nothing that you haven't heard before. Why didn't you tell me Zara quit her job? Zara quit Hela? She didn't want me to tell anyone. Because? Zara hasn't been herself lately. It's like nothing matters to her anymore. What do you mean? Whatever happens to her, good or bad, she's usually quite emotional. But lately, it just seems to bounce off her. Tell Zara to see me when she comes home. Poetry slam starts in like 15 minutes. Did I tell you I was going? So, I thought you wanted to see it. So you're not coming? Nope. So who am I gonna go with? <sighs> I'm home. Your Ibu wants to see you. Oh my God, she knows? 
You told her. Were you having problems at work? Why didn't you tell us? Abang, not now, please. You better go and explain yourself to Ibu. Okay, don't stress her out. Just take a minute to calm down, okay? Be honest with your Ibu. Ibu? Why did you quit your job? I, I got tired of it and I wasn't enjoying it anymore. You think a job is all about fun, for enjoyment. Every job has its ups and downs. I know, but... You know! You don't know anything! You can't even handle a little hardship, one or two problems, and you run away. Is that your answer to everything? When are you going to grow up? When? I'm sorry, Ibu. Why are you still here? I'm sick of looking at you. Ibu. Get out! Sarah, wait. Hey. It screwed up, Kak. It screwed up so bad. <laughs> I made a mess of my entire life. I can't even get anything right. That's not true. I couldn't even keep my job. I couldn't complete my studies. I couldn't even make my marriage work. I just failed at everything. <laughs> I just <laughs> Are you coming? I'm busy today. Can we meet later? I need to talk to you. Let me check my schedule and I'll get back to you, okay? I have to go. How's Adam? Haven't seen much of him lately. He's busy taking care of the baby, obviously. Has he recovered from that fall? I suppose so. You suppose? I was expecting you'd spend every waking hour nursing that poor boy back to health. I don't have time for your wisecracks today, Derek. Just asking. <laughs> <laughs>